How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm at Joshua Tree National Park and today I'm going to test the UV strength of these sunglasses. This particular pair is really good but I'm not sure about all the expensive ones or really cheap ones so I'm going to use a little device to test all the sunglasses today. There's a little UV sensor at the end over here and you plug this into your phone and you have an app on this phone and it'll show you the UV index. The UV index, something around 5.0. So the idea is you check out the UV index without any sunglasses. Then I put my pair of sunglasses on top like this. UV index 0.1. If I go towards the lighter part of the sunglasses towards the bottom, UV index of 0.2, which is low. Rather than you guys see me test each and every single sunglass, I've already done this over here, but let me go over each sunglass to show you what I think about them. This is my chart UV index of sunglasses. You see right now the baseline without any sunglasses, a UV index of 4.3 and the sensor readout is about 0.75 volts. The app gets the voltage readout from the sensor and it converts this voltage into a UV index. Now all these numbers are going by the UV index and you see I've tested the top of the sunglass and as well as the bottom. I have these large white ones. The top is 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and I had these red no brand ones and it actually had a 0.0 UV index and a 0.3 on the bottom. Naturally, your eye is gonna look through somewhere in the middle, so it's gonna be, you know, somewhere in between this. There's a freebie E24, 0.1, 0.1. Uh, Ray-Bans polarized, 0.1, 0.2. So you can see this E24 one, which is free, basically outperformed these expensive Ray-Bans I have over here. These China ones were really, really bad, and this is something you want to watch out for because look, the UV index is 1.6, 2.2, so it tricks your eyes into thinking that it's darker. But it makes your iris a little bit bigger and it lets in more UV light, so it harms your eyes. These Pumas, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. It seems like 0.1 is pretty typical, actually, for any uh, name brand sunglasses. There are these brown personal optics, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So to me, 0 0.2 is like a little elevated, but it's still usable. Energy Upgrade California, these are actually free sunglasses as well. It has 0 0.1, 0 0.1. These Versace ones are about $200, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 in the acceptable range. And I got these China ones from Chinatown, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. It's edging on a little bit too much. Steve Madden's 0 0.1, 0 0.3, a little bit worse than these Ray-Bans. Probably you want something in the 0 0.2 or less, no matter where in the sunglasses you are. Going on, I also got these Yelp ones for free. The top is actually 0 0.2, 0 0.1, Oakley's 0 0.1, 0 0.1, which are expensive sunglasses, these Oakley's. And so I'm um, pretty pleased that it's actually 0 0.1 throughout the whole sunglass. Ray-Bans, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Ohm Connect, which was the surprise of all my sunglasses because I was expecting the $200 Oakleys and things to really outperform uh, cheapy ones I get for free. Ohm Connect, which are the ones I'm wearing right now or the ones I got for free and surprisingly, it had a UV index of 0.0, .0 on the top and 0.0, .0 on the bottom. I hope you find this informative in that cheap sunglasses and also expensive glasses have relatively the same amount of UV protection. Don't forget if you want to check out the UV index of natural light yourself or maybe you want to measure your sunglasses as well, don't forget to check out affiliate link down in the video description below. I also have an audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook and if you cancel before the trial subscription ends, you can still keep the audiobook and you can still help benefit this channel. I also have a Patreon link over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.